Breaking on CBS News Philadelphia. Good afternoon. This is a CBS News Philadelphia breaking news special. You are looking live at I-95 in Northeast Philadelphia. An elevated section of the highway collapsed this morning near the Cotman Avenue exit. A vehicle caught fire around 6 o'clock this morning, and it's believed it may have been a tanker truck. A bridge on the northbound side collapsed. The southbound lanes appear to be compromised due to heat from that fire. And take a look at this video now. A driver was heading southbound on I-95 at the time of the fire. You can see the thick black plume of smoke there. And toward the end of the video, you can see what appears to be a dip in the road. This is video now from our traffic camera this morning. You can see here again heavy smoke and traffic on the northbound side of the interstate at a standstill. CBS News Philadelphia has been bringing you live coverage of this major story from the scene all morning long. Good morning again, everyone. Good afternoon now. I'm Jan Carabeo. We have live team coverage of this breaking news story that's impacting the entire East Coast. Our Madeline Wright was one of the very first reporters on the ground near the scene of that fire. Madeline, what's happening right now? Good afternoon, Jan. Right now, firefighters are trying to make sure that the fire that caused the interstate to collapse is under control. It's a very active scene, and as you can see, there's still some smoke billowing from the underpass. Right now, I-95 remains shut down in both directions between Bridge Street and Academy Road. It's a major disruption to the commute that could last for months. I-95 North collapsed and I-95 South buckled after a vehicle caught fire underneath an overpass in Northeast Philadelphia around 6 o'clock this morning. Today is going to be a long day um, and obviously with, with 95 northbound and gone, uh, you know, and southbound questionable, it's going to be even longer than that. Thick black smoke billowed into the air as firefighters spent hours battling the flames. There's thousands of pounds and tons, really, mm -hmm. of steel and concrete that are on top of where the origin of the fire was. There are no reports of serious injuries, but fuel from the burning vehicle traveled through watery underground pipes, causing manhole covers to explode. Local traffic's going to be horrible. Everybody's going to be backed up. Everybody's going to struggle to get anywhere that they have to go. The Coast Guard is monitoring any fuel that may have leaked into the Delaware River, which is just a block away from the interstate. An investigation will be underway to find out the cause of the fire, who the vehicle belongs to, and why it caused such catastrophic damage. With the highway shut down indefinitely, people who live in the area are bracing for side roads to be overwhelmed with detoured traffic. Philly doesn't have the best luck right now. We lost the World Series, we lost the Super Bowl, and now we lost 95. So looks like we're just taking L's. Congressman ben Brendan Boyle says he's reached out to President Joe Biden to try to secure some federal resources from the White House to repair the damage to I-95 as quickly as possible, given that I-95 is a vital transportation artery and a major link to the regional economy. A two-block radius around the highway is also shut down. Police continuing to urge people to avoid the area. Live in Tacone, Madeline Wright, CBS News, Philadelphia. Madeline, thanks so much.